to the entertaining Talking Sports. What is going on, football fans? Back at it with another New York Giants video as the New York Giants make yet another roster move to that deep secondary. Montre Hardage, formerly of the Miami Dolphins, played there one year, has been released. The New York Giants almost picked him up immediately. And two things stick out to me. Last year, Montre Hardage was undrafted, coming out of Northwestern. So that's the first thing that stands out to me. Intelligent. Northwestern, of course, one of the best universities in the country. Um, that is where he attended, so that to me is the initial attraction. The other thing, he played for Patrick Graham, and my guess is Patrick Graham was initially attracted to him, at least in due in large part, to that. And he's a ball hawk. He seems to be a guy that's a very smart football player with some physical limitations. Will he make this roster? We'll have to wait and see, but a lot of people had him projected to be a 6th or 7th round draft pick last year. He played cornerback at Northwestern, played safety with the Dolphins, so a little bit of versatility there. Was on the practice squad until the final four games of the season, in which he actually got some time against the New York Giants. He's still very young at 23 years old, and I would suspect he could at least help in special teams. Now, there's going to be a lot of competition there. The New York Giants have a deep secondary as is. As a matter of fact, you could argue that is the strongest point of this defense, but Hardage will only add to the competition as we'll see how it plays out. You also got guys like uh, the guy they picked up from the S uh, XFL, Askew. There's so many guys we've brought in to compete in this secondary, and this is just another example. But let's jump into some of the things I was able to find out about the newly acquired New York Giant. First thing I'm going to pull up for you guys was his combine profile. Montre Hardage out of, uh, grew up in Georgia, out of Northwestern. Stands at 5'11", 190 pounds, 31 and 3 quarters on the arms, 9 inch, nine inch hands. Next thing we're going to pull up is the actual tweet by Tom Pelissero. The Giants are claiming safety Montre Hardage off waivers from the Dolphins, source said, reunited. With defensive coordinator Patrick Graham. And this is something we saw a lot with James Betcher. He brought in guys that he liked for his defense. Well, this is clear, clearly a guy that Patrick Graham likes. Our defensive coordinator. Doesn't mean he's going to make the roster. You know, we got a lot of people competing in that secondary. But this should only add to the competition. In terms of what he did while at the combine. He ran a 4 6 8, 40, 9 on the bench. 34 and a half on the vert. 123 on the broad. 6 9, 5 on the 3 cone. 4 oh, 8 on the 20 yard shuttle. And 11 5 on the 60-yard shuttle. So he could be participated in every drill at the combine. That's how he did. You notice the 40-yard dash really isn't up to snuff, and that's why he probably went undrafted. But some of his strengths really stand out. Instinctive with bull hulking mentality. Posted nine interceptions during his career. Stays low in the back pedal and through his opening. Reads quarterback size and drops for clues. Balances between high and low combinations. Has footwork to mirror and match. Assumes ownership of catch speed with, with positioning and force. Drives through the ball side of his target. Plays hands on hands to hinder the catch. Digs low balls out and turns them into interceptions. So it seems like a smart football player, a guy that comes up with turnovers, but, you know, obviously lacks in size and speed. In terms of his weaknesses, shorter arms and smaller hands. Tightness in hips shows up in cross-face transitions. Very average long speed down the field. Lacks desired level of quick twitch. Takes an extra beat to spring downhill on the ball. Takes the bait on double moves. Forced into full-time face guarding in recovery mode. May have issues with above-the-rim catch challenges. Big receivers can play over him. A couple more things I wanted to pull up for you guys. Hardage signed with the Dolphins after going undrafted last April and landed on the practice squad. After failing to make the team, he was promoted to the active roster in December and played in four games, including a 36-20 loss to the Giants. Hardage had eight tackles in those appearances and joins a safety group that includes Jabril Peppers, Julian Love, Nate Ebner, and a second-round pick with Xavier McKinney. And then finally, the overview. If teams don't care for instincts, toughness, and ball production, then they probably won't like Montre Hardage. That's a bit of an overstatement, but he has all of the aforementioned traits, and he's a consistent football player. He may be a, sl a bit slower than teams like outside and not as sudden or agile as teams want from a slot which is what hurts his draft slotting somewhat. He knows how to play, he makes plays on the ball, and he's willing in run support. His limitations are noted, but he should become quality NFL depth. So there you have it, and that's what he would be for the New York Giants. He is clearly depth. I don't expect him to start. Like I said, maybe he could make some contributions in the special teams department. Seems to be a very intelligent player, being that he went to Northwestern. And, of course, Patrick Graham likes him for his defense. That's the reason he's here with the New York Giants. They have a lot of players there that are competing for those spots. We'll have to wait and see how it all turns out. But welcome, Hardage, the newest member of the New York Giants. We'll see how it plays out 
as training camp gets into the fold. As always, guys, if you liked what you watched, please subscribe, drop a comment, maybe give me a little thumbs up. Cheers.